Okay, guys, so as the beginning of our football curriculum, uh, one of the very first things that we need to know is uh, we need to know uh, gaps. Uh, offensive philosophy is predicated, uh, especially in the run game, off of gaps and pass protection. Uh, also, defensively, uh, gap integrity is one of the most important things that you can have. Uh, everybody must be in their appropriate gap um, and play to their leverage uh, from the defensive side of the ball. Uh, so what I want to do is uh, for lesson one, okay, this is our very first lesson, uh, we're going to talk about the different gaps that exist. Okay, so for here, uh, we have our center, we have our guard on each side of the ball, and we have our tackles. All right, and so these are your general gaps. Uh, you may have a a tight end, uh, tight end predicated by the TE symbol. Uh, you have a tackle, guard, center, guard, and tackle. Okay, uh, we could have another tight end on this side, uh, or I'm just going to go ahead and put a, a wide receiver out. Uh, generally, the right side is is the Z receiver. All right, so uh, let's just talk about gaps. So the gap schemes that are the most important. Um, so the space between the center and the guard on either side is called the A-gap. Okay, so both of these are going to be referred to as our A-gaps. All right, the next space that we have is the space between the guards and the tackles. Okay, that gap is going to be called the B gap. All right, and then lastly, um, on the outside of the tackle, all right, to the tight end or the next gap. Uh, generally speaking, it will it will close because the receiver uh, will come crack, or someone from the other side of the formation will come and and kick out a defender. Uh, but this next gap is called the C gap. Then obviously anything outside of that, outside of the tight end, uh, we're going to refer to as the D-gap. Okay, on the very edge of the formation. Uh, that is the most complex that it will get uh, for run game wise. Uh, run, run plays are generally going to hit uh, the A, B, C, or outside, uh, which could also be called the D-gap. Okay. Now, uh, what I want to do is go over some formations, some general formations, uh, which are just ways that the offense can line up all right, and run a particular play. Um, so, one of the, the biggest formations out there, uh, probably the most, the most basic one uh, from, from which you can talk about pretty much any play uh, from offensive philosophy um, is going to be what we're going to call the I formation. All right, I'm going to signify the tight end as the uh, Y receiver. Uh, he was on the ball as our tight end like we had previously. Uh, I'm going to have a X receiver, which is off the ball. All right, and I say that because there is space between him and, and the line of scrimmage. All right. Now we're also going to have our Z receiver, which is on the ball. Uh, you have your quarterback, which is under center. Fullback at approximately three to four yards behind the quarterback. And then you have your tailback, all right, which is uh, deep in the I formation behind the fullback. Okay, so this base formation, uh, like we said before, is called the I formation. All right, so the I formation. It gets its name uh, because of the backfield right here uh, looks like an I. So I formation. Okay, uh, one of the, the next sets that we're going to talk about uh, it's just a variation of the I formation. Okay, so if the 
fullback is, is offset to the strong side of the formation. Strong because the X and the Y uh, are on this side. The tight end is to that side. That's what makes it a strong formation. Now, if the fullback is offset, uh, you generally hear that called uh, a king set. Uh, in, the, in the football world, uh, if the fullback is weak, which he very could possibly be, and he would not be located there, then you call that obviously what goes with king, queen. Okay, lastly, what we're going to look at uh, is just your general twins set out of the I formation. Um, so we're going to have our uh, same formation, pretty much. Okay, we have our, our Y receiver to the left. All right, but for twins, we're going to have two receivers, both of our receivers, uh, to the opposite side of the tight end. Okay, still have your fullback and your tailback. Now, we could have twins king or twins queen, uh, and then our fullback would offset accordingly based off of what we talked about in the previous slide. All right, so there's just some, some basic formations for us to, to talk about. Uh, we'll get further into some of the modern-day formations, uh, things that you see a lot of times on Saturdays and Sundays uh, and Friday nights, uh, and how these same plays are going to, to work out of those. Uh, but I want to base everything out of out of the eye.